With us now is Michael McGlone, and he is a singer, a songwriter, an actor, and an author, and just a really nice guy. Uh, welcome to the show, Michael. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you for having me. Good. So we met through a mutual friend, and when they told me all about you, um, I keep discovering more. I mean, you're not just a triple threat. You're, uh, I don't know, quadruple. You do so many <laughs> different things. So I, yeah. you were born creative. You were telling me um, in one of our phone conversations that in school you just had a lot of energy, and now you have mm -hmm. a different way to channel all of it. Yes, and as I was growing up, all of the things that I now do for a living were presenting themselves as things that I not only enjoyed, but was also taking pride in because I was good at them. And I am very blessed in that that just continued to bloom and blossom throughout my adult life. And now I'm in a, a state where I'm, I'm doing them in a very regular and joyful fashion. I watched Bone Collector mm -hmm. and I was so impressed with how you brought that character to life. That was a really meaty part. I mean, that was, that was uh, great acting. What was your experience like on that set? It was wonderful. We were in Montreal, Canada for most of that movie. It was a New York picture, though most of it took place inside. So there was a soundstage in Montreal that we shot most of the movie in. And Montreal's a magical city. The cast was fabulous. Denzel Washington, Eddie O'Neill, Angelina Jolie, Queen Latifah. And I had a wonderful time experiencing the cast, experiencing that city, and being in a, in a big budget horror movie that ended up being quite successful. You had a lot of success, a lot of successful roles. You also were with uh, the Brothers McMullen. That was my first film, yes. When you and That first... went to Sundance in 1995, and we won the festival that year and created a career for a few of us. When you first landed that role and you knew that it was, you were going to be on the big screen, do you go and watch the movie when it's like when they have like the rap parties and things like that? Do you go and what's that I like? Did, you didn't I go? I did watch. Okay. I did watch the movie. Oh, you did watch. Okay. I, I did not know though when I got that role that it was going to be on the big screen. Okay. Because it was an ad that was placed in backstage, which was the most substantial actress trades at the time when I was first coming up in New York City. And it was an independent picture that didn't have any distribution, didn't have any real budget, and didn't know what its destiny was going to be. When finally we did see that there was some attention being paid to the movie and it was going to be on the big screen, I did finally see it and I enjoyed it. I, I don't have uh, a hesitancy about watching myself. I actually enjoy watching myself if I feel like I did a good job. I don't enjoy it if I feel like I didn't <laughs> nail it. Then I don't enjoy watching. But I, if I feel that I did a good job, I, I actually enjoy the, the process of watching myself. I want to also touch upon your musical career, your mm -hmm. journey as a musician, um, as a singer and a songwriter. You have some great success in that area too. Well, thank you. I feel it's worth remarking that as with many great ventures, my songwriting career began with a young lady. I had some enthusiasm for poetry and guitar, and there was this dazzling young woman who I met on a family vacation and had a very substantial crush on, came home and had to write a song about how I felt about her. So I wrote this song called Romina, which is her name, and from there forward have been writing ever since. And you're writing also, as a novelist, um, you've done quite well with your books, which 
for me was just a surprise because when we first discussed things, I didn't realize that you're also an author. So did your mom have like in your you know family, do they have like copies of your books and like, I, I, what is it, that like? I have written five, I have written five novels. That is true. It's actually six now. Okay. Wow. I, I have yet to be published. So okay. there aren't hard copies of the books as of yet. Though Let's when that, that changes, happen. you will know. Let's make that happen. Well, thank you, Donna. I look <laughs> forward to it happening. I always say my wealth is in the people that I know, Michael. Um, and so that's what I love to do. I love to paint with people. So I meet you and I meet someone else and I put you together. And uh, we met through Michael Arborway. And he has a, he's also um, a published novelist. So I think mm. that there's an opportunity uh, for us to uh, continue in that journey for you. What's, what's on the horizon for you now? You're working on so many things. There are a few projects that I cannot go into detail about at the moment because it's state secrets, though I will say that it's very exciting and they are for the screen. I'm involved as a producer, as a writer, and also an actor, and I'm extremely excited about these projects. I'm excited for you. And I wanted to thank tell you. you also, thank you for um, sharing your music with me. Some of the cuts and the songs, um, they resonated oh, very well with my I soul. I enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, I really, Pleasure. truly did. And I know that uh, you're visiting um, a different, you're not in Los Angeles right now, you're visiting family. And um, yes. I wanted to tell you, thank you for spending some time with us today. And if there's anything that I can ever do for you, please let me return the favor. Oh, well, thank you, Donna, very much. And yeah. I will indeed. And it's been a delight talking to you. Yes. I mean, I'm I'm excited to hear more of your music. I really am. I'm like, ooh, it's just, I don't know. It's 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 easy listening. It, it just uh, oh, it resonates thanks. well. You have you have material that resonates well with the soul. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Happy journeys until I see you in the three-dimensional world. Okay. okay. <laughs> thank you, Donna. Have a All wonderful right. night. All right. Rock on. Be well. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you.